Hello everyone, this is Jeff of Talflator Mouse. Today we're going to be doing some safety testing on a new product. And the product is a 30 caliber black powder cannon by Pyro Creations. While the 30 caliber black powder cannon is deceptively small, measuring around 3.5 inches from front to back, it still needs to be used responsibly and we can't overstate the importance of safety when dealing with stuff like this. We want to show how accurate the cannon is at different ranges, we want to show how powerful it is, but we also want to show that the cannon is actually built very well and is safe to use even with abusive powder loads and using powders it was never designed to use. The cannon must be secured to something like this, a block of wood. It actually comes with a large lag screw so you can do this. Never even attempt to shoot this from your hand, you're just asking for trouble. The cannon for ammunition uses this 30 caliber lead ball. It's just a tad smaller than a double odd buck pellet. And in case you're wondering, this weighs 45 grains or around 3 grams. This little cannon is capable of firing this pellet at a pretty high velocity. <laughs> While you can get pretty high velocities using an abusive powder load, you end up wasting a lot of powder. Also, the accuracy greatly suffers when you push it too hard. So we found that a moderate power load actually works much better. For the first test, we'll be using around 12 grains or half a scoop of Pyrodex. Pyrodex is similar to black powder, but burns a lot cleaner. Now this is a really light powder load. Right and hold. Hey! You hit it. It wasn't too loud at all. No, not bad. That was a light charge. And he hit it. With the very light powder load of Pyrodex, the cannon was rather quiet. It just went whoosh. There was no bang at all. The velocity was probably around 250 to 300 feet per second. Respectable but it was also accurate. At 11 feet, that's not too bad for a cannon that doesn't have any sights on it. And it had enough power that the pellet went right through our clay block. It's about six inches thick or so. That's not too bad. How do you, how do you aim something like that? Uh, very carefully, <laughs> like milking a porcupine. Ah. Very carefully. Now about all you can do is eyeball it uh, this back uh, diameter and the front diameter is about the same, so you can use that for elevation. Then you, I guess, use the fuse as a bead sight. <laughs> you got pretty good. That was pretty. You hit it on the first shot, so that's a good sign. Okay, now we've used some good old fashioned black powder in it. Yeah, the first shot was Pyrodex. Yeah. That was the uh, 4FG. Okay. But, what, half, half of what we're using now? Yeah, we doubled it up and used double the amount of black powder. Yeah, we'll see how it behaves with that. Windy, okay. Remember, light, light fuse and get away. <laughs> we got all these safety devices on those things now. All right, here we go. Yeah, it's a little bit high for a nose shot. Using one scoop or about 24 grains of black powder seems to be about the perfect powder load. We had a good bang, we had good velocity, and the accuracy was still quite good. And of course it's always a lot more fun when you can hit what you're aiming at. That's the whole point. Okay, uh, just to make sure that it's compatible with any stupid thing people put in there, we, we loaded it with uh, flash powder this time. I want to make sure, you know, people are going to put stupid things in, they're going to think more is better, and, you know, we want to make sure the cannon is capable of handling all pressures, even stupid pressures. Well, we'd rather do it out here where we're... Uh taking safety precautions rather than somebody standing here over it. Yeah, yeah, you, you want to lie and get the hell away from it. Safety is number one priority. <laughs> there you go. Okay, let's All see right. how the, 
the flash powder. Let me get my escape route cleared. Flash powder against the ballistic booger out there. If we can get this uh, lighter to work. That's a good pop. Now obviously using flash powder is going to give you higher velocities but you have a lot of unintended consequences. It's really hard on the cannon and the accuracy really suffers. But the good news is even with this abusive load the barrel of the cannon held up to the pressures quite well. And we understand that people want to take things to the next level. Use a you know more powder or use a really fast burning powder like flash powder and we want to make sure that the cannon is going to be safe in even the stupidest conditions. So in this next test, we'll double the amount of flash powder. Ow! That was much louder. Even when we doubled the amount of flash powder, the barrel still held up very well. However, it nearly ripped the lag screw out of the wood. You can understand why it's called flash powder. It lights right now, has very high pressure, and burns extremely fast. And because of this, we recommend that you do not use flash powder for your cannon. The velocity of this pellet is probably over 1200 feet per second. Probably the most powder you could possibly get into it. Yeah, that and uh, I wouldn't want to put any more. It pulled, actually pulled the anchor screw up, moved the block back about two inches. That's a pretty substantial block. Yeah, you wouldn't want to, you, you want to mount this to a, a block. You don't want to shoot it from your hand or anything oh, stupid like that. No, no, no. This is where we impacted. Not bad. Went clean through it. We read through that, dude. Not bad. That's, That's what maybe... For uh, international guys, two millimeters thick. Okay. Somewhere around aluminium. There. Two, two and a half. That's what we call it aluminum here in the United States, but eh. people uh, in other countries sometimes call it aluminium. This is a fun fact for today. Okay, let's see how accurate it is at 30 yards. We're going back to Pyrodex. It's actually very quiet. I was surprised, you know, using Pyrodex or black powder, a small load. It's pretty quiet. I think I could have filmed this in my backyard, you know, mm. without people complaining. Okay, uh, anytime you're ready. All righty, let's see how good the icrometer is at this range. See if we get a live. got a little breeze going here. Yeah, that, that lighter is horrible. There we go, fire in the hole. Now at this range we had a, a lot of drop. We were aiming directly at the pink dot and it dropped probably about two feet. I think with using very precise powder loads and a little bit of practice you could eventually adjust the aim so that you could hit something at that distance. Okay, since I know people would ask, it's like, shoot at that range with the flash powder. First one was Pyrodex? Yeah, yeah. Okay. It was a double load of Pyrodex. All right. I tried to keep the same point of aim, so we'll see if we get less drop. Yeah. And we're, not, we're kind of purposely not saying how much we're putting in there or showing it being loaded or anything because of, you know, the crazy YouTube rules. Mm -hmm. We want to show you that this is a safe cannon and, and even a, a, putting an abusive load of powder in there, something that's never designed to shoot it, it's still safe. Well, there's always that safety limit. They go over what the recommended is. Yeah, for so that we're pushing that over the You gotta idiot proof it, you know. Yeah, there you go. So let's see how the flash powder does at 30 yards. See if we can get you know less drop, does higher velocity. Does that mean we're two idiots out here trying to? Well, yeah, <laughs> we're professional idiots. Oh, there you go. Okay. <laughs> All right. I'm ready when you are. 30 yards again. Flash powder. Shot two.
even with the more powerful flash powder powder load, we didn't really gain anything. So the first shot was that lower one. There's the first shot. Second shot. I thought they'd be all over the place. That's, that's for eyeballing down that little, what, four inch cannon? Yeah. That I mean, that's uh, tight grouping as far as <laughs> grouping comes. <laughs> Surprising there. I didn't think we'd even hit this thing at 30 yards. The uh, range finder on it were 31 yards. Oh, okay. So, Any that, extra inch is something to brag about, you that's, know? That's my excuse and I'm sticking to it. Yeah. <laughs> Now one thing to consider, inside the barrel we have three inches of usable space. By using a more conservative powder load, we actually have a lot more barrel length for that pellet to accelerate down. Adding more powder just takes up more space and we end up just wasting a lot of powder. So instead of gaining velocity, you end up just losing more velocity because there's not enough time for that thing to come up to speed. Even though we really abused this little cannon, it held up pretty well. Now had we continued using the abusive loads, we would have eventually damaged it, probably breaking the screws off or bending the screws or tearing the threads out of the, out of the cannon itself. So stick to either Pyrodex or black powder. Make sure you uh, clean out the barrel with a 30 caliber barrel brush after every shot. And if you do that, you'll have a cannon that'll last for years and bring a lot of enjoyment. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.